Hello everyone, in this video I will be going over Backrooms level 79, also known as the Watchtower. This is a level that's finally safe in the order of levels I'm going over, and it's got a ton of cool features. It's also been a while since there's been just a safe level, so it's pretty cool, and without further ado, I'm gonna hop into the video, shall we? Welcome back to year three of the Brugly Summer Spectacular. If you're new here, you might not know what that means, but if you're an OG, you do. Essentially, every summer, I have a series on this channel where I go over the backrooms levels in numerical order. My goal is to make individual videos about every single level that's on the backrooms wiki dot like literally every single one. Now I have over 500 channel videos, but most of those are random or enigmatic levels or something like that. Brutally Summer Spectacular is where I go straight down the list from zero on. And I actually have a playlist on my channel of the first 78 levels. So if you wanna watch level zero to level 78 in order, check that playlist. So for this July, I will be going over the next 10 levels in order of the lore. So levels 79, through 89. This July is gonna be insane. If you're ready and if you enjoy Brutal Summer Spectacular, please leave a like if you're hyped for it, and also leave a like if you're hyped to be out of school and on summer break. I'm super excited to show you all this series this year. This is number three, and third time's a charm. You know what they say. Thank you for watching, and let's get into it. Level 79 is the 80th level of the Backrooms Complex, and it simply consists of a watchtower-type building inside of a strange field of grass. The entire level is quite small, only reaching about 100 meters squared, which is about 1,000 square feet. And the main focal point, of course, is being that watchtower in the middle. When you first get sent to the level, the immediate thing you'll notice is its safety and its small size. You'll wake up in a grass field and you'll stare up at the watchtower and you'll see that there's nothing that could go wrong. You almost like celebrate after getting through so many terrible levels to finally experiencing a good one. From the outside view of the tower, it looks to have two floors with staircases connecting the two. You get the sense that this tower is abandoned because there's no sign of anyone that's been living in it. There's no shoes, no clothes, no food cans, just a tower with a field surrounding it. Walking inside the tower, you'll also notice a few things. First, you might notice a small kitchen and a couple of bedrooms. There's also a bathroom with a toilet and a sink, and there's also water that comes out of all the faucets here. The water itself is not regular tap water, it seems to be almond water, and the source of it is unknown since normally watchtowers don't have tap water. Other than those things, the inside of the tower is just basic. It's a simple tower, kind of like the one from the video game Firewatch. It's just very simple inside. A few beds, a few sinks, a few countertops, and that's it. About 100 meters from the front of the tower, the grassy wheat field begins. Except it's actually not a grassy wheat field at all. There's no actual plant or wheat or anything there, it's all fake. You can't actually walk on the field, because if you do, you will no-clip right through it and fall down into the void below. Now the grass seems to be some kind of projection or hologram of some sorts, and there's no actual organic matter there. After a while of falling down into the void, you'll eventually just wake up on the first floor of the watchtower again. So there's no real danger to it, it's not like you're gonna get sent to the void level, there's just some mysterious void here that connects you back to the watchtower. On the back side of the tower, there is a forest that leads off for a few hundred feet. This is where the exit is located, and you can actually walk on the ground here. You're not gonna fall into a void. But keep that forest in mind for later. Like I said though, the entire confines of this level are really small, so it feels like kind of a world box of sorts, like a video game creator made it or something. The sky above everything seems fake and plasticky, and the clouds seem like they're cotton candy, and the grass also is fake, literally. Everything just seems really, really artificial. The good news is, is there's not many entities that roam around the level at all. The only ones that you might see are out in the field or the forest, and they can actually walk on the fake grass somehow which that doesn't seem fair, but whatever. But a strange connection that these entities have is that they seem to be connected to the entities from level 10. There are worm-like creatures inside the ground, as well as smilers and hounds too, but the only other level these worms are seen are in level 10. So who knows if these two levels are connected? We don't know. So this level seems really random, right? It seems very fake, very video game-ish, and just not organic. So let me show you a little bit of the backstory that's been put together for this level based off of the specific items that have been found in the watchtower. 
So on the very first floor of the tower, there is a photograph of a man that's hanging on the wall. It's just a normal looking man, and his name seems to be Alan. Now, if you remember and have a great memory, Alan is the name of a man who no clipped into the back rooms a long time ago and currently is stuck in level 53. Remember that weird house that you're trapped inside of and there's no outside? Yeah, that's Alan, the same Alan. And it also seems that this level and level 53 share more than that when it comes to connections and similarities. For instance, Alan's house on level 53 has no guest rooms. There's no extra bedrooms. And this tower has several rooms that appear to be guest rooms inside. Maybe these are where his house's guests used to sleep. There are other decorations and paintings on the walls here as well that match the house in level 53. They're the same style, the same colors, the same vibe and everything. And it seems like Alan either lived here in this watchtower one time or decorated it or something and then got trapped in level 53. We don't know. That's it. That's literally all the weirdness about it. Other than that, it's just a calm watchtower in a sunny field. But let me know your opinion in the comments below if Alan somehow maybe created this level or maybe it was the first person sent here. And that's why the two levels share so many similarities. There are no bases and there are no outposts here. But there could be, I guess. I don't know. But this level is known to be one of the safest levels in the back rooms. And since it's so peaceful, it's often used as kind of this resting safe place for people who are going over into the 80s levels and beyond. Since typically levels do get more dangerous the higher up you go, this is a good kind of chill zone you can go to. To enter the level, you can be on level 9 inside of a grassy field and lay down in that field for about 5 minutes without moving and you'll no clip here right in front of the watchtower. This level was originally found accidentally, by the way, by some random wanderer who wasn't Alan, which I thought was pretty funny. So it seems like this level must have been originally located by accident, since how would someone figure out that you would noclip here by laying in grass? That seems kind of fake and weird, I don't know. But imagine just being that random guy on level 9, taking a little nap in the grass, and waking up at a random level like this. To exit, you need to go behind the watchtower to the forest back there, and you need to walk inside of it and noclip inside the ground there somewhere and you'll be no clipped to the pool rooms which is pretty fun this is actually a pretty decent way to get there but this level is just really chill it's a relaxing place it's a calm atmosphere where you could kick back drink some gamer sups and look over the field for however long you want even though there's no crazy entity or anything here this level still a banger i can't lie sometimes less is more when it comes to backrooms levels but anyways hope you enjoyed it Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'm really hyped that it's finally summer and I'm going to be uploading these levels in order again. We're going to be going all the way to level 90 something. It's just very nostalgic to go over levels in order. I think it kind of just brings me back to the beginning of the back rooms and my interest in it. It's changed so much since then and it's really good to get back to the basics. So leave a like if you're hyped for the return of Brugly Summer Spectacular and thank you so much for all you do. I cannot wait to show you what I have planned this summer. I literally got so much, so much coming out. I cannot overstate that enough. Thank y'all for everything. Thing, and I'll end up the video here. Bye-bye.